25 people associated with the Vyapam scam have died in mysterious circumstances and such a big number can hardly be counted as a coincidence. Time and again, whistleblowers and witnesses have raised an alarm over threat to their lives. Here's a report on the mysterious death in the Vyapam scam. Another mystery death in Vyapam scam. Narendra Singh Tomar, an accused in the Vyapam scam, had died mysteriously in Indore jail, adding another murky chapter to the scandal. He was a 29-year-old veterinarian accused in the case. He complained of a chest pain and was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was declared brought dead. The police says a magisterial inquiry has been ordered into the death. Tomar was said to have arranged for imposters who had written pre-medical test papers in place of genuine candidates. Vyapam, as per reports, is the mother of all scandals and the biggest one to rock Madhya Pradesh. These deaths have snapped the crucial linkages to kingpins, making it India's most notorious scam. The special task force of Madhya Pradesh police under the supervision of High Court is probing the scam. Hundreds of parents and students have been booked in various cases. More than 129 politicians, government officials and middlemen have been arrested. More than 2,000 persons have been booked in this camp so far. Shele Shadav, the son of Madhya Pradesh Governor Ram Naresh Shadav and an accused in the scam was found dead under mysterious circumstances. Vijay Singh, a pharmacist, was key accused linked to several high-profile persons. He was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Kanker district of Chhattisgarh. Dr. D.K. Sakale, Dean of Jabalpur Medical College, succumbed to burn injuries. Namrita Damor, a student of Indore Medical College, was found dead on railway tracks. Ramendra Singh Bhadoria, a 2007 batch student of Gajraj Medical College, also dead. Opposition parties claim deaths are aimed at protecting politicians involved in the scam. कि सरकार व्यापम घोटाले से जुड़े साक्ष और भ्रष्टाचार को उजागर करने वालों को अब किसी न किसी तरह हत्या या आत्महत्या के लिए मजबूर कर रही है और यह बहुत गंभीर मामला है। They claim more than 42 people connected with the case have died so far, so it is obvious for witnesses to feel insecure. सुरक्षा के नाम पर लगातार लापरवाही और मजाक किया जा रहा है। सुरक्षा में ऐसे लोग भेजे जाते हैं जो उम्रदराज होते हैं जो लगभग रिटायरमेंट की कगार पर होते हैं दूसरा एक लाइन में ऐसा पूरे पुलिस विभाग में एक ऐसा माहौल बनाया हुआ है आशीष चतुर्वेदी वो व्यक्ति है जिसके 2000 से ज्यादा दुश्मन है उसकी हत्या होना निश्चित तौर पर संभावित है तो इसलिए मेरी सुरक्षा में आने से पहले कोई भी सुरक्षाकर्मी सुरक्षा ड्यूटी से बचने के उपाय खोजने लगता है मेनी इन्फ्लुएंशियल पर्सन हैव बीन अरेस्टेड इन द केस सो फार व्हिच इंक्लूड्स Ex-Education Minister Lakshmi Kant Sharma, MPPEB's exam controller Pankaj Trivedi, MPPEB's system analyst Nitin Mahindra and Ajay Sen, state PMT's examination in charge CK Mishra. The reports of this scam started surfacing in 2013 and within a time span of two years, more than 25 recorded unnatural deaths raised the suspicion whether those who have died were intentionally eliminated to prevent secrets of influential persons involved in the scam from coming out.